Hi Virgo and welcome to your love tarot forecast. This is for May 1st through May 15th, 2019. I do apologize. These are a little late getting out. Um, I just finalized all my revisions and corrections to my decks and sent them off. They should be back in about a week. So if all is well, those of you who have been interested in purchase, they hopefully will be ready for purchase. So Virgo, let's take a look and see what your love energies are for these next two weeks. Okay, so we have uh, some emotional baggage coming out. We have a change yourself. And we have crazy chemistry. Okay, so right off the bat, um, like the connection I'm picking up on, whether this is existing or somebody new that you could potentially meet over these next two weeks, um, Virgo, I see it right off the bat. You guys have a great connection, a lot of chemistry um, between the two of you, but one of you um, has some emotional baggage, and there's an element of needing to change and face that, and I'm not sure that that person is interested in maybe in facing that just yet, and that could be who you're dealing with, Virgo, who you're meeting brand new, or Virgo, this could be you, where you have some emotional baggage that um, maybe you're still hung up on somebody or you're not over some things, but you have this great connection with somebody else, and so you're trying to just focus on the connection and ignore the baggage. Like, that's what I see going on, whether that's you or the person you're dealing with. It's like, we have this great connection. Let's forget about, um, you know, what's ever wrong, or even like in an, an existing connection, this could be where we're just trying to sweep the problems under the rug because we do love each other. The connection is amazing and great. So instead of facing things head on, we, um, you know, go through the emotions and then sweep everything under the rug. So let's pull some more cards, Virgo, and see what this is about. Okay, so we have, wow, Twin Flame Journey. And I'll tell you what, this Twin Flame energy has just been rampant in these readings for this first two weeks of May. Oh, beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Virgo. Never-ending love story. Okay, um, so I really want to start doing just, like, Twin Flame Journey readings separately from, like, the love scopes or the love story to look at that energy because my god they it's just it keeps coming through in these readings and um you know the bi-weekly love scopes I want to be just you know more about general energies but man they are just going deep deep this uh, time around um Virgo wow huh this person who's ever coming through in this for you whether we're already involved or this is a new connection coming in that you're about to meet this is twin flame energy okay never ending love story this is like your one i mean my god this is just like boom boom right there the two cards um in this particular deck out of 72 that could express this back to back right there in your reading okay however Emotional baggage and change yourself. We have got to face the shadows. We have got to face the bad habits, the self-sabotaging behavior. Like whatever happens here that kind of keeps us in this cycle where, you know, it's great. Things are like on fire and then something happens and it's really bad. And then instead of facing that, you know, we'd rather just sweep it under the rug and go back to our really good connection. And um, because that's coming through, Virgo, that's not working right now. It's not going to work like that anymore. We've got to get real. We've got to get right um, all the way around. And I'm not surprised. We do have Saturn and Pluto that just went retrograde, and they're doing their work. Oh, my gosh. Uh, definitely for sure. And I, they're doing it here in your romantic arena, Virgo, because it's like... Um, we've got to heal. Now, this just came through. Wow. There are some Virgos out there 
that you um, you really want to align to Twin Flame. You want to find your one, your soulmate, however you look at that. Whether you think you've found the person or not, okay? What Spirit's saying is, yes, that is meant for you. That connection absolutely exists. However, Virgo, there's some emotional baggage within yourself that you've got to work on. You've really, there's some changes that must be made in order to properly align to this connection. And some of you have not met this person yet, okay? And Spirit's coming in hard and strong and saying, let's do the work, let's do the work, let's do the work. This is coming up, this is coming up. You've got to prepare, you've got to be ready, you've got to be able. Now, Virgo, some of you, this is Spirit talking to you and letting you know, yes, you are a part of this. However, the person who is your soulmate, your one, your twin flame they have some work that they must do first okay and whether we have met this person or we are going to meet this person um, the connection is like instant and just crazy chemistry right off the bat so let's pull some more cards Virgo Okay, so we have Seven of Emotions, Daydreams, Indulgence, Infatuation. Um, this, to me, is just coming in a, a, about how we kind of sweep things under the rug instead of dealing with them because we want to, we're afraid, I, I get the sense like you're afraid to really deal with the things and face them head on because you guys want to preserve the connection and it's... Um, Sometimes it it's like even di like trying to face it is scary. I don't know. Let's keep pulling more cards. Um, eight of emotions, yeah, because we're afraid that it's gonna walk away, that it will leave if if um, if we don't just accept, if we don't tolerate, if we don't comply. Um, yeah, close, greedy, selfish. Yep. Okay. This all making sense. All right. Yeah. Now look at this consciousness. We have to have a huge shift in perception there. Uh, five of roses, emptiness, guilt, insecurity. That goes right back to that emotional baggage. And lastly, law of attraction. This is about energy and alignment right here. So Virgo, um, like I said, one of you... Okay, one of you has some emotional baggage that really needs to be addressed, okay, because that's what causes this cycle. Um, for others of you that are in a connection, it's like it's time to face whatever demons exist within the relationship. Like we can't uh, close off. We can't walk away from each other. Like that's not an option here. Um, we can threaten it, but hello, yeah, there's just no getting away from each other. Soul contracts are soul contracts are soul contracts. Whether our human mind gets it, understands it, believes it, it does not matter, okay? Um, that's why connections don't leave us. And other connections, it's like, boom, gone that quick. Or here you're struggling to get over something for five years. Finally, you have this shift in consciousness. And then the next day you wake up and you're like, damn, why was I struggling all this time over that? That's what I'm talking about here, okay? Um, it's a time to really face something head on. And um, tr thinking like we could walk away from each other um, or just throw in the towel, like that's never going to work. You guys will circle back around, okay? A soul contract is a soul contract. And aside from that, the connection and the chemistry is just way too much. But somebody has emotional baggage. So Virgo, if this is a newer person that has come into your world or somebody new you meet over these next two weeks and you recognize that they have emotional baggage, um, be a friend. Resist the chemistry. Um, preserve the connection from that level. Don't preserve it by accommodating, by walking on eggshells, by tolerating unacceptable behavior, okay? Uh, 
you preserve it by asserting yourself, having self-respect and being like, I'm sorry, like, I really love you, I want this, we have the best connection I've ever experienced in my whole existence, however, I am not second best, and I can't handle your emotional outbursts, tit fits, tantrums, um, insecurities, just whatever it is, like, it's time for that to be faced and healed and uh, grown from. And once that happens, it's like there's the magic that we are trying to preserve so much. It just naturally comes forth. But it's we've got to align energetically, okay? And some of you, um, what I feel is, you know, you've been on this journey healing a lot of stuff from the past. And either this, you know, first two weeks of May spirits bringing this connection to you or you are in the final preparations to align to this person okay just based on what I see here so let's pull some more cards Virgo Okay, so we have Twin Flame Kundalini under Daydream Indulgence Infatuation. So um, that goes right back to this crazy chemistry. Like when you guys come together, there's no other in this world. We have Soul Consciousness under this Eight of Emotions trying to walk away. Yeah, it's never going to happen. Um, maturity, yes, coming out under closed, greedy, and selfish. Um, this is a lesson definitely one person has got to overcome this and the other person involved has got to stop tolerating bad behavior due to this connection okay um, past life lessons you guys were working on the same stuff last lifetime but this lifetime it's time for the shift in consciousness to take place intense bonding yeah I'm not surprised to see that um, if this is somebody new you guys just click instantaneously um, those of you in existing connections there's just no other like there's truly no other uh, yeah inescapable connection um, I rest my case there's just this energy that exists between the two of you okay that um, is inescapable and it's a soul contract and because it's there and it's intense it's really forcing one person to grow up to mature to realize, you know what, um, I can't keep going about it and, and trying to leave and walk away. That just that doesn't work because whether we're physically together or not, the connection's still there. We have soul consciousness right here, Twin Flame Kundalini. And with Twin Flame Kundalini and Crazy Chemistry Virgo, I know, like I know, when you guys are getting down, there is no better, okay? You are the best lover they've ever had. They are the best lover you ever had. There's a reason for that, okay? You know each other at a soul level. There is nothing that um, is hidden in the physical that the soul can't know and feel and tap into, okay? And that's what goes on here is when you guys come together, your souls are so intertwined. It feels like home, and it's like you don't want to pull away, but... Um, this emotional baggage, these unlearned lessons just cause so much heartache and friction that we physically try to separate. We try to break up. We try to get away from each other, but it doesn't last. We come back because the chemistry is so strong. And again, we sweep everything under the rug opposed to facing it head on. It, it's time to no longer tolerate and accept and accommodate. It's time to assert. It's time to have boundaries. It's time to really love and honor yourself regardless of whether this is your twin flame or not okay because in doing that it really shifts the energy and it cuts them off from being able to keep in this pattern you've got to do something different to change this pattern all right and this is again in existing connections um, that are committed and connections that are just kind of back and forth with no real commitment and some Virgos I feel this is a new person kind of that just showed up or is showing up over these next two weeks where the connection is crazy out of this world but somebody has something to work through or to get over, okay? So, Virgo, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the best. Take care.